Welcome to the Cross Sports Network BCFL Week 7 Rankings. We dive in at number 10, the Louisville Piranhas. The Piranhas sit at 0-5 after folding at the beginning of the season. Number 9, the Kentucky Colonels. The Colonels sit at 1-4. They started 1-1 prior to shutting up shop and folding for the remainder of their season as well. Number 8, West Virginia Lightning. The Lightning sit at 0-6. They have given up forfeits in the last two games. I'm not sure if they're going to continue out the season or attempt to shut up shop as they are no longer eligible for the playoffs. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Number seven, the Tri-State Saints. The Saints currently have two wins. However, they are looking for their first win of actual on-field play, and they came off a, they're coming off a very lopsided loss to the King Comets. Number six, Cincinnati Gators. The Gators sit at two and three after a very close loss to their rival, the Cincinnati Dukes. The, the Gators seem to be able to compete when it comes to some of the smaller teams, but I don't know if they have what it takes to compete with the top two or even the top three if you can include the Columbus Gladiators. Number five, the Keen Comets. The Comets shocked everyone when they took that 6 nothing loss to the Cincinnati Dukes. Rumor has it they lost a lot of players to some local teams. I truly believe they're going to get some of those players back as the playoffs approach, and I wouldn't give up on them yet. They had a 38-0 win against the King Comets, and I look for them to make some noise in the playoffs. Number four, the Cincinnati Dukes. The Dukes sit at 3-2. and They come off that 6-0 shocker win against the Comets. They beat the Cincinnati Gators by one point. They seem to be just enough to hang around. You can't really blow them out, but they're not going to blow you out either. Uh, I think they're going to have a nice seed, maybe even host a playoff game, but I don't know what they're going to be able to do after that first round. Number three, the Columbus Gladiators. The Gladiators choked away a big lead against their rivals, the Tanks. They come out, they got a forfeit win this last week against the Colonels. They have one of the top offenses in the BCFL. They seem to be poised to make some kind of run to the semifinals. I just don't know once they get there, are they going to be able to get over the hump of beating the Tanks after what happened two weeks ago, or can they compete with the Marion County Crusaders? Number two. Westport Mouth Tanks. The Tanks sit at 5-1. and one. They lost the first game of the season to the Gladiators, but they come off a big revenge game two weeks ago, and they seem to really be clicking on all cylinders. Their offense seems to be firing. Their defense is making some noise as well. But is it going to be enough to dethrone the Marion County Crusaders? And speaking of the Crusaders, the number one team, once again, are the Marion County Crusaders. They stepped outside of the BCFL and took on one of the big boys in Tier 2 of the PAFL as they took on the Canton Pit Bulls and come away with a 30-24 to win. They seem to have all the answers on offense, defense, and special teams. Are, is anyone going to be able to beat them, or are they going to cruise undefeated and win the 2018 BCFL Championship? But that wraps up the Week 7 BCFL Rankings.